Hello, and welcome to my first Scratch lesson. This is Jim, and what we're going to do today is we're going to make the cat dance in Scratch. When you start up Scratch, you're going to see there will be a cat in the middle of the screen. This is our sprite, and we can make him do things. We're going to get other sprites pretty soon, and I'll show you how to do, make them do things too. But let's work with the sprite we have right now. Let's start by making him move a little bit. So we want to click on the blue option up here that says motion. So everybody click on the blue, pause it, click on the blue option that says motion, and then come back. Now we're going to make the cat move, and we're going to take the <clears throat> puzzle piece here that tells the cat to move. And it says move 10 steps. So I'm going to bring this over. This is the place where the cat's actions are stored. So I have put the move 10 steps into the cat's action to make him move. And what you'll see when I click on it, he'll move a little bit. So everybody pause the video take the move 10 steps puzzle piece and move it into the cat's action area and click on it and watch the cat move okay if you're back you should have moved the move 10 steps puzzle piece into the action area and you should have clicked on it and seen the cat move now we want him to be able to do more things than that. For example, we're going to want to make him, we might want to make him move a little faster or slower. Let's say we want to move him a little faster. Right now it's on 10 steps, but maybe we'd like him to move a little farther. We'd like him to move 25 steps. So I'm going to move over the white number here, and I'm going to double click on the white number, and it should highlight. And then I'm going to type 25, and then hit enter. And if I click on it now, you'll see he moves a larger amount. So everybody pause and go to your scratch and double click on the white 10 in the move section and change it to 25 and then come back. Okay, if you're back, you should have made your cat move 25 steps instead of 10. Now, what we'd like to do is we'd like to make him turn around and move in a different direction as well. So I'm going to look for this long one that says point in direction. It looks like this right here. And I'm going to drag this up here. I'm going to put it and uh, right now it says 90. And if I go to this arrow, this little black arrow, I click on it and it gives me various options, which is right, left, up, and down. Don't worry about the numbers. We want the one that says left. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to change it to left. And then when I click on it, he will turn left. So everybody should pause, go to your scratch video, take the part that says point in direction and put it into the action area and click on the little black arrow and change it to left. Okay, so you should have put the point in direction button so that it says uh, and it should say negative 90 in there, which is the number for left. And now what I'm going to show you is how we can put two different moves together. So you notice that we have point in direction, we have a move, um, and we can put two things together, right? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two things together. Um, now he's already pointing in direction negative 90, so I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to click on this little black arrow here. I'm going to change it to right. So now it should just say 90 instead of minus 90. And if I click now, you see he will both turn and move at the same time. And so <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to switch to scratch, take your point in direction puzzle piece and click it on to your move 25 steps puzzle piece. 
and then change the direction to right by clicking the little black arrow and then try it out. Okay, so if you did that, now uh, you should be back. So <clears throat> now what we'd like to do is set it up so the cat can go in either direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another copy of the same thing. And one way to do it is I can click on this anywhere on here with my right mouse button. And you'll see it'll say duplicate. Duplicate means to make a copy. That's this one right here. So I'm going to click on there and I'm going to move it down. Okay. Now I'm going to change this to left. So pause your video. Go to uh, your scratch. Click on the point and direction with your right mouse button. Click on duplicate. And then in your put down your new copy, and now that should say negative, change it to negative 90, which is left. And try each one going back and forth. Okay, if you're back, you should have now have two different versions. One points on the left and one points in the right. So, if you notice, if I click them back and forth, we can sort of make him do a little dance. So, since he's doing a little dance, let's make him say something. I'm going to go to the Looks feature. And <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him say cha-cha one way and then say cha the other. So he'll be doing a little cha-cha-cha step. So I'm going to click on the one that says say and I'm going to drag it over here. Sorry. I'm going to put this underneath. Now I don't want him to say hello. I want him to say cha-cha. So I'm going to double click right here and I'm going to type cha Cha. And two seconds is a little long. What I'd like is a half of a second. A half of a second is 0 0.5. So I'm going to type 0 and then a period, then a number 5. I misspelled that there. It should say cha cha. Now, uh, so what you should do is pause. When you pause the video, you're going to go, you're going to find the one that says say hello, and you're going to drag it, and you're going to click it under the move piece. You'll double click on where it said hello, and you'll type cha-cha instead. And then you'll double click on the two, and, it'll, and then you'll type a zero, a period, and a five. Okay, so you should, should, should be back. You should see this right here. Okay. And now I'm going to make him say something else when he goes back. So I'm going to pick another copy of this. I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to click it underneath. I'm going to double click on hello and I'm going to say cha with the exclamation point, C-H-A. And then I'm going to double click on the two. I'm going to have 0 0.5 again, which is another half a second. So now watch what happens. Cha cha cha! All right, kitty. Now, since he's dancing, what we'd really like is some music. That would be kind of cool. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the sound section, and <clears throat> we're going to uh, play a drum. All right. So, I'm going to say the play drum 48 for 0 0.2 beats, and I'm going to click this under. I mean, you notice I can move things in between things. So in between pointing and direct, in, in between moving and saying, I'm going to, where it turns white, I'm going to put it in between the move and the say. So it goes just like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to, when you pause it, you're going to 
take play drum, you're going to drag it in between the move and the say, and then you're going to drop it. So do that now. Okay, so now you should have the drum in between the move and the say. Now we're going to do the same thing with the one below. So go to the back to when you pause, go back to scratch and put the drum in between the other move and say, and then try both of them out. Now, since he's doing both those things, we can put these together, but we can do something else fun. We can make him move while he dances. And the way we can do that is what's called costumes. So I'm going to go back to the one that says looks here, and I'm going to click on looks. That's the purple one. And um, I'm going to uh, click, find the one that says next costume. The costumes are over here. You notice there's two costumes. One is where he looks like this, and one is where his feet have moved a little bit. And when I switch between the two costumes, it makes it look like he's moving. You can see what happens here. If I click on this and I click on here, you can see it looks like he's moving his legs. So we're going to, using the scripts, we're going to make the script switch the costumes there. Sorry, that was a mistake. I'm going to go back to his scripts. And in here... Up at the top, when he moves, I'm going to click Next Costume. And then down at the bottom, after he moves, but before, after, after he talks, um, I'm going to put Next Costume again. And if you look what's going to happen, you can see that his, he changes his legs when he moves. And then down here, I'm going to, so, sorry, what you're going to do is you're going to go, you're going to uh, go to your scratch when you pause. You're going to put the next costume in, uh, in between um, point and direction and move 25 steps and then put next costume under the, say, cha-cha for 0.5 seconds. Okay, so if you're back, you should have your two next costumes here and here. Now I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to switch his costume again under the move, under the point in direction and under the place where he talks. And then I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, let me show you what happens first. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two things together. I'm going to move my cat to the middle. And I'm going to make him do both things. So what I'd like you to do is switch to your pause and switch to your scratch. Put in the next costume in the lower part if you haven't yet. And then put the two together. Put the cat in the middle and try it out. Okay, if you're back, these should all be together. So what we want to do now, though, is just make it keep happening without me having to keep clicking on it. So how I'm going to do it is I'm going to go to the section that says control. The control part is what makes things happen in different ways uh, it, it, by re repeating or when it's told to do something by something else. And so what I have here, I'm going to look for the one that says forever. And you notice this kind of is a U shape and it has a little arrow down at the bottom. This means we're repeating a bunch of actions forever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this over and I'm going to move it all the way to the top. And you'll see how it wraps around the whole thing. So you're going to wrap it around the whole thing. Okay. And you'll see now it will be wrapped around the whole thing. And if I click it, He's going to keep dancing. And I can stop it by clicking this red circle up here. This will stop anything that's happening. It's a good tool. Now, <clears throat> instead of having to click on it, what I'd like to do is make it 
So there's like a general thing, that, the general command that starts everything. And the general command is this green flag. And uh, the way we're going to do it, I'm going to find the thing, the one that says when the green flag clicked, it's also in the control section. So I'm going to click that, I'm going to drag it, and I'm going to click it on top here. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click the green flag to start my cat dancing. And then I'll click the red dot to stop it. Now there's various ways you can change this. Uh, if you uh, one thing you could do <clears throat> is you could make him move further. So where it says 25 steps, I'm going to oh I'm going to change it to 40, and then I'm going to do the same thing down here. So. What I'd like you to do is pause it <clears throat> and go and uh, change your 25s to 40 and then try it out and watch him. He'll move some more. Okay, so if you're, if you're back, you should see your cats dancing some more. Okay. Okay. Um, some other things I can do, I can change what the drum is. So I might want to make him a hand clap instead, for example. If I click on there, you'll see the bunch of options come up. So I'll click on number 39, which is a hand clap, and we'll have him dance the hand claps. So I will try again. Okay, um, I can change our other things around. I can change what he says. I can change the uh, direction he points. So what I'd like you to do now is uh, uh, stop the when the video stops. Switch to scratch and try changing these things around uh, and moving things around and seeing what you can do with the stuff that I showed you. And when we come back, I'll show you some new things that you can do with Scratch.